Hey guys, my name is Sam, and welcome back to SamCraft. So I just got back from the store, picked up a few things. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But the first thing I want to do in this shop vlog is kind of clean up my mess. The workbench is cleaned off, and I've got my new toys, uh, tools, out here to show you guys. First thing first, let's talk about new tools that I got. Over the weekend, last weekend, I went to an antique mall with a friend of mine and we spent a couple hours going through all the tools and everything in the whole store. It's like 25 to 30,000 square feet. Big place, biggest one in our region. While there, I had one tool on the mind. I did get that tool but I also got another tool. Let me show you the surprise tool first. Ta-da! <laughs> it is a Stanley Bailey number no. five grooved bottom plane. This is in great shape. I used some of the other tools that were there for sale at the antiques booths and checked the sole, I believe, maybe foot, I don't know, this part for flatness and square with the cheeks. Everything looked great. There is very, very minimal rust on this. There's no major pitting. There is no cracks and all the bits and pieces are here and it works great. Probably the most important thing, and this is the thing that my friend told me that I wasn't exactly knowledgeable about, is the handle, or I believe this is called the tote, is in great, perfect, original shape. It's not ever broken and ever been glued back. It is original, it looks good, no stress fractures, and really good to go. So I got this because I needed a big brother. I needed a big brother to this. This is my current, well, my first bench plane that I got. I got this from a yard sale for like 10 bucks. This is a Stanley Bailey Model 4, or number four. And for comparison, if I stand them up or hold them even, you can see how much longer the number five is from the number four. This number four is smooth bottom is, and it's in great shape as well. It's never had the tote wood repaired. The uh, knob or the handle is great. And um, so I'm really excited about these. Like I said, I didn't go there planning to get another hand plane, but as I've been using my Stanley number four lately, I love it and I wanted to find one at a good deal, and I think I got a good deal. I paid 40 bucks for that one. Maybe $40 is not a good deal where you're at, but here where I'm at, it's a good deal. So if you get better deals, I don't wanna hear it because I don't wanna cry in my sleep. All right, so the other thing that I went for, and this is the tool that I went hoping I could find, and after two and a half hours of looking, almost getting to the last part of the store, I finally found one that was in good shape and affordable. A draw knife. This is a nice straight eight inch blade draw knife. It is in great condition. There's no cracks or chips on the blade. It's got a really nice bevel ground already. All it needs is some basic honing and it should be ready to go. It has nice black wooden handles and the steel, I guess kind of caps or finials on the handles are in good shape. There's no cracks with the handles, everything's tight, no wiggle, no play, no looseness, and it's perfect. Here's the biggest mystery about this. I could not find any information about this draw knife on the internet, like none, maybe one or two pages, but really no history, no knowledge, and I don't have a clue where this came from. I don't know if this is vintage, I don't know if this is just junk, or if it's really, really rare, I got no clue. It is a Black Prince name brand, or at least that's what's stamped right here on the blade, Black Prince. So regardless, if it's great or if it's junk, I got me a draw knife I'm really happy with. And this was a little more expensive than probably, well, for sure I could find online, but I'm really nervous about buying tools online, especially eBay. You are really, really trusting the person who snaps pictures of the tools that they're telling you the truth and they're not hiding stuff. I'd much rather put my hands on a tool, play around with it, move it, wiggle it, jiggle it, and know that it's what I want, rather than risk, say, risk spending the money for it on eBay. 
So this was $40 as well. My goal with getting a draw knife was if I could not find one in the antique store, then I could always go buy one new if I had to. I'd rather get an old one. I like the characters of the old ones. So I'm happy with what I got. Now to go along with the Black Prince draw knife and my new hand plane, I picked up this. A 12 by 12 slab of granite tile. Now, probably some of you know what this is for and know exactly where I'm heading. But in case you don't, because honestly, if I was watching this video about six months or so ago, I wouldn't have a clue. I'm gonna take that piece of granite along with assortments of sandpapers. And this is gonna become my sharpening system that I'm gonna use for now and probably the foreseeable future. I'm gonna learn how to sharpen my hand planes, my draw knives, my bench chisels, everything. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned to see me learn and then share with you how to sharpen tools easily and most importantly, very cheaply. I went by the local woodworking store and picked up some stick fast activator and CA glue, which is pretty much super glue. Um, this will be my first time ever having activator. I've wanted activator ever since I saw it probably 10 years ago. I've just never been able to swing it. I'm like $8 for this. Ugh. Well, I was in the woodworking store today, had a little extra money to spend and I was there alone. So I convinced myself it was okay to get it this time. In addition to the stick fast glue and activator, I picked up some five minute epoxy. This is also a stick fast brand name. And I like these because they are larger bottles. They're not the little two in one squeeze it out and really mix it and mess it up type applicator system you find in stores. These allow me to keep them separated. Gotta keep them separated and also keep things a lot cleaner and nicer. So uh, these little guys will go in my automatic glue and finish cabinet. That thing right there so that they won't ruin because it's winter time here and things freeze. And the last thing that I got today from the woodworking store was, oh, I hope I'm not messing up. I hope I don't regret this. Mylan's High Build Friction Polish. I think it's gonna be good. I mean, it's highly rated. It's supposed to be good. And if price is anything, it'll be really good. So that'll be cool to use on some of my wood turnings coming up, some neat little things. Um, of course, I'll YouTube it and learn how to use that and all that, but just want to show you guys what I got. And then last for the new stuff in the shop today, I received something in the mail that was a major award. If you guys know me, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm a fan of Beavercraft tools. They did a giveaway for an item and I won it. So I'm so tickled. Check it out. That's right, it's a stick of wood with leather in the middle. <laughs> in reality, this is a straight draw knife. So now I have two draw knives, awesome. This will be good for doing what draw knives do, you know, shaping and, and doing draw knife things. So I look forward to getting to use this. I very much appreciate Beavercraft doing the giveaway, that was really fun. They were doing, I think four, there were four different giveaways. I entered this one, I won this one, but they were doing like carving kits, spoon carving kits, hook knives, um, little bird carve kits and everything. They were doing really cool giveaways on Instagram. I've used Beavercraft for the couple of like bent gouge and I just got a spoon carving kit from them and I really, really like it. It's good quality tools from what I can tell at really good affordable prices. So, so the coolest thing about the draw knife is and this is just so cool of Beavercraft to do this. Every time I've opened one of their products, it's had it in there and I just start laughing and I'm just like, this is awesome. They just totally get my sense of humor. And that is, it comes with not only the tool, not only a, probably a little pamphlet ex explaining things and saying howdy, but band-aids, band-aids. That's so awesome. And for me here in America, foreign band-aids. I got no clue. What does Santa Verde mean? I mean, it's Santa's green is how I interpret it. Santa Verde. Uh, it's awesome. I think it's so cool. 
So Beavercraft, if you're watching, if any of you from Beavercraft are watching, first of all, thank you. Secondly, this is so awesome. This is the cool factor. You know, the thing that a client won't expect and will just get a kick out of it. At least they should. If they don't, I don't know. What's wrong with you? Where's your humor? You gotta have fun in life. You gotta have humor. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this shop vlog. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you coming along. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions, love to read them. Leave me a comment below. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the comments or next time in the workshop.